The button is a speed dating show from the YouTube channel Cut. To my understanding, two people sit across from one another with a button between them. If for whatever reason they don't like the other person during the date, they press the button and the person who gets the button pressed against has to leave for a new one to replace them. If two people last on that date for 10 minutes, then they go on the second one at cuts expenses. In this episode, they spice things up a little by making the contestant wear a blindfold in an attempt to take physical appearance out of the way. I understand what they're trying to do with this approach, but appearance is part of who you want to date if you have eyes that can see. Twitter had a meltdown over this episode because according to Fat Acceptance, a fat phobic Asian patriarch dead buzz all the fat women that he sat across. Can we talk? Sure. Okay. Hi. How are you? Good. You're needing a hug. Thank you. He buzzed her after he hugged her. Through the hug, he could feel how fat she was. This is the part that infuriated Twitter and fat acceptance because after doing it twice, it became quite clear what he was doing. Many commented under that video that cut should prevent people from touching each other on top of wearing the blindfolds. Many even called Nathan here fatphobic just because he clearly prefers not to date a fat woman. You can't make this up. A group of fat gluttons decide to eat themselves to their size and demand the rest of the world to accept them with their filthy lifestyle choices and all men have to date them else they fatphobic. This episode also depicted the hypocrisy of fat acceptance because they had issue with Nathan hugging the women before rejecting them. But I didn't hear any outrage when these women touched the man all over and then rejected him after they took the blindfolds off. I thought people shouldn't touch. For both parties' defense, the button itself is no one's friends as it sets anyone it wants up. Amy is wifey material. Nathan models. I don't. Where did you guys get that information? <laughs> what? People are allowed to have preferences. You don't go to a buffet and pick the foods that don't appeal to you to eat. It is the same with dating. You can't date someone you are not attracted to. And you have the right to select who you want, but it doesn't mean that they would necessarily want you to. Here's a question for fat acceptance. If people should date you just because you ask, would you lose some weight if they asked? If you want to force people into dating you, you must accept them forcing you into doing what they want too, whether you want it or not. If you didn't before, do you now see all the problems emerging from such a situation? You can't take away people's consent and expect to keep yours. We have laws in place to protect individuals and their consent. Taking that consent away would decriminalize rape, abductions, unlawful imprisonment, and even murder. So no, you can't just force people who are not into you for whatever reasons to date you just because you want them to. Twitter's meltdown over this segment is ridiculous and also shows what toxic feminism is. Almost heard about was the cries of fat women because a man rejected fat women. What about the very first fat woman who rejected the man because of what he does for a living? So what are you for work? I'm a school bus driver. Oh. She was quick to buzz him right after he said he is a school bus driver. Why did she buzz him? She doesn't want to date a school bus driver. Why not? Is that not school bus driver phobic? Oh yeah, we all can play the phobic card. According to her fat friends and probably her too, 
she is allowed to have preferences but men are not is that not hypocritical mind you this is a man who prefers dating fat women milton has a type i have here thick sassy sense of humor he prefers thick women as he said himself but he is not making enough money for the fat women in front of him and this is a big problem with fat acceptance possibly bigger than they are themselves these women want the best men possible or muscular good looking and loaded with money while they themselves are below average in which world does that make sense why did she want to know what he does for a living she's a gold digger but of course the internet saw no issue there fat acceptance saw no problem with that because the more money he has and the more food they will get to continue to stuff their faces with here's another hypocritical moment how tall are you uh, how tall do you think i am i'm thinking like 5 11 she wanted to guess his height as being six feet and caught herself in her own bullshit. Why does his height matter? She's clearly one of those women that says, I'm not dating anyone shorter than six feet. Is that not a preference? Is that not short phobic? Fat acceptance had no problem with that. But they had a problem with that man having preferences and these women are worse because you cannot control your height that's genetics however you can control what size you become and why is no one talking about them not wanting to date fat men themselves they clearly know deep down that there is something wrong with being obese that's why do you want to give me a hug and see how tall I am? <laughs> Not right now. We have to give it to Nathan here though, because his tactic shows how smart he truly is. And this woman buzzed him because she already knew that as a fat woman, she's not his type. The fetish is spilled a bean. Also, check this sport. After Amy buzzes Nathan off, another man enters the scene. He buzzes Amy off because she wants three kids in the future and to him that's too much. Listen carefully to this. Is it like you don't make enough? If this is not a gold digger, I don't know what is. I want to come back to Nathan and the fetishist here. I call her that because to my eyes that's what she is. First of all, who goes to a blind date cosplaying? If cosplaying is not the theme in that environment, then you are out of place. She comes in as a manga character expecting not to be a turn off from the get go. It doesn't matter whether you like animes or not, but there is a place for everything. And we are all judged by our appearances. It is not Halloween. It is not Comic Con. And you come into a speed date dressed as Kanroji Mitsuri the Demon Slayer? Well, my friend, you're setting yourself up to be slain. But listen to this interaction between Nathan and Sam. Nathan just asked her what is a deal breaker for her. I can be really chatty sometimes and I've had a lot in my past where people will like, I'll talk about something and then I'll just cut me off. I need someone who will listen to me. I'm not sure if that was meant, but she came off as condescending. From her appearance to the way she expresses herself, shut up what I'm talking, take me as I come. I'm the only one that matters. Me, 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 me. That's a turn off. I mean, I watch a lot of anime. I watch me too. a lot of Asian shows like Korean dramas. She watches anime and so does he. She did not acknowledge him there because in her own words, I need someone who will listen to me. She is so unlikable. What is your type? I'm definitely very into Asian men. Is this not fetishization of Asian men? It is a preference to be into a particular race, black, Caucasian, Asian, whatever. 
people like what they like. But when you show up to a speed date dressed as an anime character and you add to that the fact that you watch a lot of Asian shows and are into Asian men, that's way out of cultural appreciation and becomes cultural fetishization. You not only make your dating preferences into an Asian cartoon, but also project your views of Asian men as caricatures and stereotypical drama characters. And that's a massive faux pas. What race do you think I am? I have no idea. Maybe white to Asian, maybe? I am Asian, actually. Oh. Yeah. Gosh, she's a creep. Here is another scene from a different episode. Megan and Brian sat down, chatted, and even kissed after the button suggested they do. Then they remove the blindfold and Brian is asked if Megan is his type. After he says no, she buzzes him off. I didn't hear any outcry from fat acceptance about this and I have my theory on this. What did I do? Honestly, I feel like it's because I'm heavy. No. No? That's the vibe I got. Not a problem with me. Brian did nothing wrong and doesn't care whether a woman is fat or not. You thought he was saying he was not attracted to you? Yeah, it's been pretty common in my experience. You talk with someone for a while and then when they see me in person, they're like, oh, actually, I don't know if I'm feeling it. That was the vibe I got. Megan judged him on that based on her own insecurities, which is also a common denominator in fat acceptance and one of the reasons why, in my opinion, they demand everyone find them attractive. Here's the thing, you can't attract what you're not giving yourself first. You have to learn to love yourself first and be kind to yourself first before those can come to you. And I'm not saying that just because you love yourself, for instance, that it means everybody will love you too. No. But when you love yourself enough to know your worth, you don't care what others think or say of you. And you definitely don't care about getting approval from anyone. So fix yourself first. Instead of worrying that others reject you, Worry about your own rejection of yourself and get to the bottom of why that may be the case. Obesity affects both male and females, but it has quickly become more of a women's problem, thanks feminism, because it's been used by so-called obese feminists to fight the patriarchy's beauty standards in an effort to remain independent and get their own power back. But what power is there in illness? For these women, obesity is a form of rebellion against social standards which translate to feminists using health problems as a form of rebellion. Obesity should not be taken lightly. It is not attractive. It is definitely a big killer. Fat Acceptance is claiming to be a feminist group fighting for justice and equality for all. But it is clearly not true. Feminism stands for equality for both men and women, and that includes mutual respect. Everyone is entitled to their preferences and just because you have a different experience of life than others doesn't make your experience more valid than that of others. If you as a woman are allowed to have preferences, so are men. If you want to know how tall a man is before you decide to date him, don't be offended that he wants to know how much you weigh before he decides to date you. If weight is just a number to you, then height is just a number to men too. Demanding men be perfect before you date them while you yourself are way less than is toxic and that's more of what makes you undesirable because regardless of your body size, when you are ugly inside, you are also ugly outside. And you, fat acceptance, are definitely toxic and vile inside. Thanks for watching. Train me in.